How are we going, everyone? My little courtyard garden here with a lot of fruit trees. Now, I've cut all the other fruit trees back because it's needed to be done. Uh, and I've left one in particular, the apricot tree. Look how beautiful, beautiful it is. It is in full bloom here. I have left it a little bit late to cut back, but nevertheless, better late than never with the apricot tree because if you cut it too early while it's dormant, it can develop some problems like uh, gamosis and other bacterial diseases getting into it. This tree here, if those who've been following me for the last couple of years, this tree was almost dead. We nearly lost it. I had to do a severe cutback on it back then. Have a look. This is where I cut it back once. There, down there, over there as well. This was another prune I did over here and over there with that knuckle leaves and on the other side. So needless to say, I only left a couple of branches on it, which is one, two, three, four on it and everything else was pretty much dead. It has come back with a vengeance. It's full of flowers on it. I'm excited to get some fruit now. Apricots, they'll fruit on anything up to four years of age of branch, that is sort of one year old, maybe two, three and four years of age. And if you don't replace those after four years, it becomes less, uh, less productive. You'll get less fruit on it overall. So, and if you don't cut it back, it'll end up to the sky and that's where you're gonna have to get up and harvest it. So what I'm gonna do now is thin it out again now we speak about the open vase shape here on this one, peach tree over here. This is a sort of open vase shape. I haven't taken out all the little wispy branches in the middle, which I should take out and I will do that. It's never too late to cut those out because they're not going to really do anything for me. But you want that open vase. But with the apricot, it's almost like a champagne glass. It's got to be even more open, a lot broader in the width itself. Actually, have a look at this pear tree. This is one that I almost lost as well, and it's coming back good. The lichen that you see on, the, on all the yellow stuff there, that's dying off now, which is good because we're getting a lot more sunlight into it. This had a lot of upright growth. I got rid of that because all that growth is useless. It does nothing for you. If your tree's growing straight up to the sky, you may get a couple of fruit, but at the end of the day, it's going to be so low in production. It's going to be senseless or pointless of having a tree of that size. So I've cut it right back down and I'm going to try and get all these little spurs to become fruit bearers and hopefully we get a lot of fruit this year. Back to the apricot. What do we do? Well, we cut out the dead disease damage, crossing over branches and branches that are facing in the middle. No more talking, a lot of pruning. Let's get into it. I don't know where to start. Oh, bugger. This is nasty. Now, I've got to leave some branches, young branches on here, folks. Otherwise, I'm not going to get any fruit in a few years. In actual fact, I've got enough here to take off a lot of branches. Don't worry about it. Look at this. We've left too many on here. this it's growing over here I don't need it to grow that way it's actually growing in the wrong direction just think of the open vase oh yeah I'm knocking off a lot of flowers but you know if all these flowers set fruit it'll be a bloody miracle So many, so many crossing over here. It's so jagged, folks. It's really, really messy. <laughs> it's, it's a joke, actually. It's out of control, this one. This ain't going backwards, that's for sure. All I'm going to try and do here is open it up a bit so we've got nothing sitting on top of each other, branches, that is. See this, for example? Have a look at it. It's growing inwards. In there. Now, we've got two two branches growing out of the same spot right next to each other. We can keep one of the two. Which one do we keep? I'll keep the one with the most flowers on it. How's that? That's an easy one. Oh, that was the wrong one. <laughs> I've got enough flowers on the tree. This is another thing. You don't want them lapping over like that. Either cut one back a little bit and leave the other one or take it off completely as well. 
and all these little things here eventually the little branches they're all dry don't need them leave a few like that anything growing tall like this no need i like to keep them about keep them about 60 centimeters thereabouts like that and just take the tips off the others and we work our way around have a look at this come here it starts from here goes all the way around over the top of this one back under here and back underneath this little branch and here it is there look at that what are you going to do with that not much so i might actually just take that off completely don't need it now that branch in particular i haven't got the saw with me here i've got my lowe's number one which are fantastic for pruning big branches but not that big obviously that needs to be sawed off that's a reaction from the last cut i did there ideally i've got to take it off just there folks just there and hopefully i can get a branch to come out this way or train some of this in this direction so that's okay for now we'll cut this one back as well it's too long cut that back for now there you go folks not as pretty as it was before because i've taken most of the flowers off but more importantly i've actually aerated it and got rid of all the crossing over because that's one of the biggest problems you can have with a tree that grow so jaggedly they can do a lot of damage by crossing over and there were a lot of broken branches on here as well so dead disease damaged wood on apricot trees remove them straight away now's a good time to prune them if you haven't done so already and always do it well now i say that now it should be done just before it comes into full bloom as soon as the sap starts to flow through the tree you know it's active and that you know it's going to actually heal over on any cuts that you create on the end there so the sap's going to come through callous that over and prevent any bacteria disease getting inside there so prune your trees if you haven't done so already get out there and spray them if you've got lichen on them or you've got aphids aphids will be attacking your peach and nectarines have a close look at the buds if you start to see black spots or blackening on the edge of the branches more than likely they would be aphids congregating there and sucking the life out of the plant spray them with an eco oil to protect them as well check out our website facilitiesgarden.com and if you're watching this just as we've uploaded it tune over to six 93 3AW Radio, Weekend Gardening with me and Darren James. All things about gardening, give us a call down there. And we've got our sale going on. Get ready for spring sale, up to 70% off everything online. VasiliesGarden.com, from me, Vasili, Maresi.